Hey miners, this is Will from the Pellish Miner. We're going to talk about this little bug here in a second. Just stand by, hold out, see what's up, and see why it's attacking Pepe. So miners and community members, friends, so Bugna is what the bug is about. So according to the devs, they're calling it the Doge and Pepe meme coin killer. It's on the K Heavy Fash algorithm, okay? And so we're gonna pop my little head in here real fast as I get the light, sorry folks. They're calling it exactly that. And I really like it. The launch was pretty decent, I can't complain, but I, I, I'll show you a little bit more in a second, okay? They have their Explorer, and at this point in time, compared to some of the other stuff that I've done, uh, which is several hours later, I've got 1,300 coins. The biggest thing that I've seen is that the chain is having issues catching up. Uh, from this morning, it was a complete blast all the way. Anyway, with Bugna, they're talking about reimagine the world Secure, transparent, sustainable. It's the bug in the network. Okay. Um, for my personal conversation with the dev whose name was Paulo, he said they're going to start out on a DEX, which I'm not exactly a fan of because I don't like MetaMask as it is the least secure wallet out there. Sorry, MetaMask. It's a fact. But they're going to have it up on PancakeSwap and it's on the BNB chain. So. Hopefully that's going to be that. There's some talk about uh, Trade Ogre here within the next month. And uh, let me get down to the, the, the brass tacks, okay? So right here, they're planning to launch right as of today, the 14th. Uh, a lot of us knew about this a week ago or a week and a half ago. Um, next month they're having a centralized exchange listing and expanding community according to that. Cross-chain interoperability. There's the DEX again, okay? Pancake swap. Uh, scalable enhancements and smart contract integration. So I do believe you're going to be able to do an LP token with the with this and be able to mash things up and do a little DeFi, which is fine. So one of the benefits of using the bug network, obviously secure and transparent transactions, scalable infrastructure to accommodate growth, user-friendly tools and resources for developers, a vibrant and supportive community. Like I said, the devs will talk to you. At least they talk to me. Commitment to sustainability, environmental responsibility. So they answer other questions. Where, what are different projects, uh, products, and services offered by Bugna? A secure and user-friendly wallet, storing and sending and receiving Bugna tokens. I wouldn't call these tokens. I would call this them coins because tokens are not mineable. Not from where I'm standing at. Dogecoin to me is not a token, it is a coin. So, Pepe, on the other hand, if you Pepe was a proof of work or which is on a script, uh, the script algorithm, right? That, there are two different types of Pepe. So, one is a token and one is a coin. This is to me not that, right? A block explorer allows users to view all transactions and blocks on the button and network. Currently, this is a problem. One of the current problems. As you can see, I can click go and my transaction history is nada, right? So, it's still in progress to explore. At least you know you're getting coins. The wallet works great, okay? So, Bugna, developer tools, comprehensive suite of tools and resources for developers building on the bug network. They went over it's secure. Hmm truly what is secure. So let, let's try something here. Not Zephyr. B-U-G-N-A. I mean, I can create a wallet right here. Wallet.bugna.org. It's real simple. I am showing you. It's up. It's running. It's smooth. There's currently a total of... Well, let's go down here and take a look real fast. It'll show me. I really hate mining for people, I'm just saying. Um, as you can see, I'm finally getting paid out some of my stuff here from earlier. The chain is still way far behind, 
okay? Uh, this is not telling me what I want to know, so we're going to go back to Google Miner real fast and see if we can find out. So, their figures, the estimate is 74.26 giga hash at a diff difficulty of 992.49 tera hash. That's where they're at, right here at the bottom, okay? There's some ridiculous number of hash rate up here, so I've been paid all my stuff out here for this. X Pool Miner was way better than mining for people. Just saying. Um, this was a little less flaw, a little less of a headache, and it was a lot, a lot more flawless than mining for people. But I'm operating currently in a private pool and there's a tab up here in front of you but I am not going to give you up the information because the pool is private. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to show you their Discord. We'll go from there. So, as you can see right here, I talk about we'll have a, this crazy hash rate in a month, black confirmations. They have announcements in here, welcome. There's the welcome wagon right there, right? And then some of the announcements are going on here right hash rate currently at 1242 is 4.884 petahash in only 60 minutes and they had 1250 new discord members this is insane I, I totally like this that's awesome right and we're doing the video about this I'm not the only one to do the, a video on this as a matter of fact my buddy over there alter component he is in here as well and he's doing videos also. I'm just saying. They've got a mining for people, as you can see, mining for people is talking there. And they have it on what they call X pools as well. So, you know, that's just it. So as you can see, I've been running this iPolo for a little bit, which is running up on Bugna. And we're having about 6% rejection right here after a little over an hour. Um, I don't really most pools in my opinion normally don't have a lot of rejected shares but this one does I did switch from P, uh, PRLP uh, to solo and um, prior to that I was able to earn, earn 576 and roughly about a half bugna over the course of a short period of time but now we're going to switch it up here a bit and I'm going to go to a quick question to alter component who collaborated uh, with me uh, on this video as well as me and him were working together throughout this process just before the launch so I'm going to switch it over to the quick question here to alter component and then after that we're going to do a quick brief mention from our sponsor and we'll be back to cover a little bit more here hey alter component what did you think of the launch today for within the last few hours for Bugna did you see anything that you thought they could have done better or did you see anything that uh, you know troubled you at all hellish miner what's up buddy we are talking about bugna the new meme king if you will so today's launch was uh well let's just put it this way i've been through way worse launches um for the most part it went okay the biggest struggle I found was with the pools themselves. There was really only the one primary pool. Generally, you want to have at least three main pools to handle this kind of influx. As soon as the thing started getting up and running, it felt like that's when all that hash rate, the rented hash rate, piled on. It crushed the network. The pool wasn't ready. Blocks were hanging. Um, and I feel like maybe the pool the main pool wasn't necessarily handled the way it should have been and it would have been great if some of these other pools could have been ready um, especially like x pool miner or if the dev team would have made sure that some of these other pools that could handle the hash rate were informed and ready to jump on this thing as soon as it came up i think what it all boils down to was preparation maybe just a slight lack of preparation but Overall, we're, we're pretty much up and running now. The blockchain's catching up. There are still some issues with certain pools, but yeah, that's where we stand. And uh, I just want to thank you for working with me on getting this up and going today. And um, I wish you the best. Thanks.
So with that in mind, I want to thank all the Tony for that insight. And he was right. He's been through way more launches than I have. This one was pretty smooth. Uh, the hash rate just went through the roof. It was like 90 tera hash in no time. Everybody was just piled on, piled on. It's right. Uh, but I do believe that the transaction fees, because this is going to be on BNB chain, are going to be far cheaper than Dogecoin, far cheaper than Pepe. It's just a thought. It doesn't mean I'm going to be right. I also believe that Bugna will be more than likely the Doge of Pepe killer. Just saying, just a thought. So, anyways, I'm going to leave with that. If you guys want to learn how to do this or anything of that, my name is far as that's concerned. Any questions, it's fine. My Discord is also listed down below, and that's free. So, I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. See ya.